Just making an update on some of the cells I've been working on. This one I made a few months ago. It's been out a while. And I wrapped uh, copper wire and aluminum wire around a piece of quartz crystal. And then soaked it in a super saturated solution of Epsom salt kind of coat it, and that's what I get. It'll go down a little bit. And it's uh, got sugar in there too, so it's a little bit thermoelectric, so when I grab it, put my body heat on it, It'll go up a little bit. And then I got some uh, barium titanate, well, pieces of a cylinder. And then I just uh, soldered them on there, a couple wires on each side. And that sort of pulses. We'll see what that does. I wish I had a full cylinder like John Hutchinson did, but I don't. I can only get pieces that I bought them on eBay for. Like $15 for a few chunks. Like that. And it's uh, the ceramic, the barium titanate ceramic coated with the silver on it. That one says almost half of a point four of a volt. But it pulses I got it on backwards I guess. It's uh when you do anything to it it'll uh the pulse will reverse on it. So if you heat this up, you have to switch the wires. And now it's about the same. Go up to 0.4 and then back to zero. But I guess there's a way to activate it by crystal resonators. And this is uh, the air cell that I put together, like magnesium wire wrapped around a carbon rod I got from a 6 volt lantern battery. And let's see what we get out of this one. I made this one like a year ago or so, quite a while back. Have to squeeze it hard to get anything out of it. Almost 0.4 of a volt. It came loose. The tape I had holding on there it came loose over the past year or so. So it's kind of hard to get a good connection on it. 